welcome back to another monthly favorites video. This one is for March of 2023. I realize we are almost halfway into April and I'm just now getting around to this one. So needless to say, I did not bother like pulling out all the physical items to go with these because I figured, you know what, I, I just, <laughs> if I wait till a day I'm up to doing that, probably gonna be like towards the end of the month, it'll be time to do it again for April. So frankly, I'm just gonna read them off my list and we're gonna call it a day, okay? Okay, so the first thing that made my favorites list for March was the ColourPop Snow White collection. Oh my god, yes. Naturally, I had to buy it in full. I, I've long said if they ever do a Snow White collection or a Lady in the Tramp, Lady in the Tramp collection or Aristocats, any of those three, shut up and take my money. And it's happened on one of them now, so. I think we may have gotten a hint that an Alice in Wonderland one might be coming, so depending what they do with that, I, I might. I might for Alice, I don't know, but um, the Snow White one, though, was a complete non-negotiable has to happen, so. <laughs> um, but also the uh, Barbie Colourpop Beach Party Super Shock Highlighter, I've really been enjoying that now that I like dipped into it and started playing with it. Actually, that one is really nice. I have it on right now. Like, it is a really good one. It's like a nice golden glow. It's gonna be really nice leaning into summer. Like, we're not that far off from summer. We're a couple months away. I'm getting used to, like, the learning curve with it now. So, you know, be nice and ready by the time that comes along. Um, also the Crazy Rumors Cranberry Orange Lippy. Like, oh my god, that one is so freaking good. It's stupid how good it is. Like, literally. I just, I have no words for that one. Just whatever she did when she made that one. It is incredible. <laughs> I cannot say enough nice things about it. Uh, so that's the makeup portion of this list done. Moving right along to the food portion of the list. This one comes and goes, I swear. It's like, I go through these periods, just like I do with the Flamin' Hot Cheetos, where I won't touch them for months, maybe years at a time, and then I come back and I buy them once, and next thing I know, I am buying them every single time I go to the store for like a few months, and then I eventually chill out on it and don't touch them again for months or years again. So this time it's not the Flamin' Hot Cheetos though. It's not even Cheetos at all. It is the Pepper Jack Cheez-Its. I know, I fell down the rabbit hole again. I fell down the rabbit hole again, holy shit. Uh, <laughs> actually, at this point, I'm almost popping out the other side of it, but like somewhere around like late February, early March, I start buying them again. I don't know what crawled up my butt, but like I start buying them again like every single time. Couple boxes at a time even, like this is bad. Like <laughs> It's like I need to chill out with it, but um. Yeah, that's very much a thing <laughs> that has been a fave lately. And I realized I still have not properly reviewed those. Wasn't I supposed to review those like several years ago when I did that like one-off Safeway haul and I said I was going to and then I never fucking did? I should do that while I'm still on this kick of them this time, you know? Anyway, so those have been a thing. The Blendjet lattes have been a thing. Like, I've almost gone through all the latte jetpacks of those. Like, I'm on to, like, my smoothies now and the protein packs, but I'm thinking I might go back and repurchase some of the latte. Not all. Not all. But, like, the ones that I really liked, like the cinnamon one and the green tea latte one was really good. Like, those, the vanilla latte, like, those three in particular, I'll probably be repurchasing. Uh, and a very surprising addition to this list that I did not expect. I didn't even know they made these. I don't know if they're new or if I just literally never noticed them before. But okay, so like, you know those Quaker like rice cakes? Boring as shit, right? But you know how they do the flavored ones? I had never seen the basil and tomato flavor before. So again, I don't know if they're new or what the deal is, but I had never seen them or at least had never noticed them. But I saw them was like, you know, these could go one of two ways. They'll either be too tomatoey and like completely disgusting, or they'll be really good. Probably no in between, but I'm willing to take a gamble on that. So I bought them and I fucking loved them and I have not seen them since. But 
you bet your ass, if I see them again, I'll probably stockpile on like five or six packs of them. <laughs> Just so they last a while, in case I don't see them again for a while. But oh my god, those are so freaking good. Like, and honestly, probably better for me than the Cheez-Its. So, like, pr probably a good thing that I noticed those. But honestly, I'm surprised that I even ever bought rice cakes again. After, like, that whole thing at, like, 19 or 20, where, like, I was literally living off of basically nothing but rice cakes for a couple months. Yeah. Didn't think I'd ever want to see a rice cake again, but these broke me. These broke me, man. Anyway, so then, on to the multimedia portion of this list. We have got uh, Mel Brooks's History of the World Part 2, which was on Hulu. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I mean, I don't think you can fairly compare it to the movie. Just... Let's throw that out there. I haven't reviewed this yet. I don't think I'll go back and check. I don't think I have but um, Very very different breed of animal with the way they went about this, but I still found it really enjoyable and fun um, A little quicker paced at points than I'd have liked it to have been other parts dragged on a little too long So the pacing I feel like they could have worked on the pacing There's certain parts that they probably really didn't need to drag out quite as far as they did but most of it overall was pretty fun. I, I think they left the door open potentially for a second season even. I don't know if that was like a fake teaser at the end or if they're really doing it. But if they really do it, I will most definitely watch it. So I enjoyed that. I have been re-binge watching Daria yet again. How many times does this make now? I don't know. I don't know. That cartoon literally feels like it was based off of me in high school. <laughs> I feel like we've talked about this before. But um, I, I literally own it on DVD, complete series, but seeing it on Paramount Plus, I was like, ah, shit, all right. I'm falling back down the rabbit hole again just because of convenience. Okay, like, I'm already, like, most of the way through rewatching it again, but... Yeah, I still love me some Daria. It just seems like the Mike Judge cartoons in general I seem to love. Like, King of the Hill was my favorite of the Fox cartoons. Loved Beavis and Putted. Loved Daria is my number one of those three, but yeah. <laughs> uh, a surprising one that I had never heard of until I watched it, uh, because over on um, Mayo's Movie Marquee in the movie chats that I'm a part of every week, plug for if you guys didn't know about that, which I don't think I've talked about that over here yet, so, you know, I'm over there every Tuesday, just saying, every Tuesday evening we do a live chat about movies and stuff, so, I had the movie Nuts recommended to me, which is a Barbara Streisand film, which I had never even heard of before, and it was described as being potentially better than Funny Girl, and I was like, them's fighting words? And I highly doubt that until I watched it and then was like, holy shit, you're right. Like, <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but it is. And it is. <laughs> like, I'll do a full review of that movie. I still need to. I have it written down in my long list of things I need to film because I kind of fell off of my train of having a big, long backlog catalog of videos. Yeah, I, I whipped through most of them. And we are running on fumes at this point. I need to refill the pre-filmed folder. So, you know, that's that's all gonna be a thing. <laughs> but I, I have a shit ton of things I need to film. But anyway, um, so I really enjoyed that. If you've never seen it, it's currently on Tubi. You can watch it for free. So, you know, there is literally no barrier to entry if you've never seen it and you want to see it. Uh, also, the Miley Cyrus Endless Summer Vacation album, I know I won't shut the fuck up about it, and I am not done talking about it. Or, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a while before I, I'm done fangirling over it. Basically, all of March, with the exception of maybe two days, this was all I listened to. On repeat, almost non-stop 24-7. I turned it off to sleep, but like, it was basically damn near 24-7. No joke. No exaggeration. Um, honestly, I finally got to where, all right, I, I'm slowing down with it and starting to listen to other things interspersed with it, but still coming back to it pretty freaking often, like every couple days, but... Yeah, honestly, this may, I can't believe I'm saying that this might actually be my favorite Miley album, and that is saying something given how much I liked the Hannah Montana stuff. Yeah, I have no shame saying that. Like, you can make fun all you want, but I have no shame saying that, but I think this might actually outrank even that in my heart, which 
sacrilege, I know, but oh my god. <laughs> so, I really enjoyed that. I'm also going to give a shout out to a podcast that my friend Mina does that she recently revived and brought back the Connect With Purpose podcast. You can find it on Spotify or basically anywhere you find podcasts. I think it auto broadcasts to all of them, but I know for sure it's on Spotify. Um, uh, she has a podcast where she documents her life, uh, just her different experiences with going through life as somebody with disabilities and things but honestly it's like a really really interesting podcast that i've thoroughly enjoyed not just because she's my friend but just in general it's a good podcast so if you know you're into that kind of thing you should definitely go give it a listen there is one that she actually it wasn't a recent story time she did about like a year or two ago but she, she did do one episode talking about some antics she and i got into as teenagers once upon a time I should probably also tell it as a story time over here, but I, I will give you the the nod to go listen to hers first if you want to hear that. But anyway. And then finally, the last thing on my March favorites is the new Oregon Trail game for Nintendo Switch. I know we've all played 10 zillion versions of Oregon Trail at this point. How different could it be? Okay, I hear you. And for the most part, I would agree. I was skeptical even going into this one, but I am also a sucker for Oregon Trail, who, if I see a version of it that exists that I haven't played, I buy it. I have no chill. But this one is legitimately different. They've actually fleshed it out to where this is kind of like an all-day endeavor to play it through, <laughs> even like once. I was like, damn, okay. They took a game that typically you could whip through in like a couple hours. Yeah, no, they have like really fleshed this out and have all these different side quests and all kinds of different paths and things. And it's not just like a single playthrough thing. Oh, no, 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 no. There are so many different things to unlock and different modes to play through. There is still a crap ton that I haven't even begun to scratch the surface on yet. But oh my god, I am having a great time with it. Uh, luckily it has a file service on there to where you could have three save files, so... I have my one that I've been playing on, but you bet your ass that there's going to be a let's play of this game on this channel. And it'll probably go on for quite a while, not gonna lie, and I will be loving every minute of it. So anyway, those were my March favorites, so hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more is all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.